Hello and welcome back to Where Are We Going? This is Isaac Angel and today I'm again with you with another uh, review of the RV must-have gadget. I wanted to share with you my review on the Set Power AJ series, the 53 quart one that I got recently and I cannot be any happier. As many of you know in van life, RV life or car camping, having a refrigerator is essential. However, running it and the power source is even more important. Most of the refrigerators in many RVs are either three-way, two-way, and recently with the new technology, most of them are 12 volts. In my RV currently, my refrigerator is actually a two-way refrigerator, which means that it runs only on AC, 110 volts, or propane. I'm sure many of you know that the propane is not very efficient. It takes very long to cool down and it has to be perfectly level for it to function properly. And not all the time we have access to the AC 110 volt source, unless you're in a camping ground. So I was in the market for a long time to have a 12 volt alternative, especially whenever I'm on boondocking mode. So I came across the Set Power AJ series, in my case, a 53 quart, 12 volt chest like uh, refrigerator. Set Power AJ series 53 quarts has a minimal footprint it's very efficient i just got it and it came with the most essential accessories and pieces that you need to run it with the device is at 12 volt but it also runs on ac power 110 up to 240 volts by the way and it came with all these cables and accessories a 12 volt car the regular cigarette lighter uh, cable a 110 volt household power adapter which is really cool because you can use this together and now you have a household device that could work for you even in your home or office or anywhere else. I've tested it for a few days now. When the compressor is running, it consumes up to 55 watts of electricity. And obviously when the compressor is out, it's drawing absolutely nothing. So it can last for hours and hours, if not days without having to worry about your batteries depleting. It's got two modes, either the Max or the Echo. The Max is for full power for immediate cooling, especially when you first plug in, I would recommend to put it on Max. And then once you reach your targeted temperature, you can put it on the Echo mode and then it really just smells the power. It's very, very efficient. And it also has three levels of battery protection built into it between low, medium, and high. And what that means, it's smart enough to know not to drain your batteries completely, whether if it's your car battery or your uh, coach battery or your house batteries, so it knows not to drain it completely so you never are left behind with no power. It's an added unique feature for you to protect your batteries. It is very well insulated. It's got 79 millimeters of insulation layer surrounding it all over. And it's very quiet. It only has a 40 decibel noise generation and only when the compressor is running. It's very rugged and it's very functional, especially for the outdoorsy ones or all the overlanders. This can still operate at 40 degrees of tilt. This specific unit that I own is uh, 53 quarts and has a capacity for approximately 75 cans of soda, beer, seltzer, you name it. And it's very versatile. What I mean by that is when you open it, it has, I already have a few things in here. It has compartments that also can be shifted to the size of your liking by removing the separator. And this separator also can go into any different parts of the actual cooler, but you can also remove it if you want to. It can hold a lot of stuff. It's very deep. It's got a height of 20.3 inches. It also has this small compartment, which has a depth of between 15 or 16 inches deep, which keeps the actual temperature in this little compartment 10 degrees higher than your set temperature. Let me demonstrate how efficient and how quiet this device is. I am just going to plug this in. 
I was using it earlier with the uh, AC power, so now I'm gonna switch to 12 volt. Right here, you have the DC 12 volt and 24 volt plug, which you plug this into, and it comes with a 15 ampere fuse attached to it. And let's check the paneling right here. As I told you, it's very minimal, very easy to operate. On and off button, settings between max and echo modes, plus and minus buttons to set your targeted temperature. In my case, I'm just gonna keep it on 36. And once the blinking actually stops, it shows you what temperature it is currently on. In my case, it was already 36. It also has these like four uh, cup holder section here on top because you can actually take it outside and use it on the beach, in a camping ground, on the field, and still be able to utilize this with that 79 millimeters of uh, insulation. This is not going to get hot anytime soon, even if it's not plugged into the power source. You can adjust the temperature on this refrigerator between 0 to 50 Fahrenheit degrees. The refrigerator weighs 33 pounds in total and it's got the dimensions of 27.5 inches of length, 13.6 inches of width and 20.3 inches of height, which is uh, very versatile in the size and the shape and it can almost fit anywhere in a car, RV, van, and such. It only draws up to 55 watts of power and only while the compressor is running. Currently, the way you see it is the way I use it without any added accessories. However, the refrigerator by Set Power comes with this metallic handles and these four pieces that are supposedly are to be attached here on each side both on this side and the front and these bars are actually going like so and once they're attached to the refrigerator body then it becomes your handles that you can carry it with ease I in my uh, RV I am not going to attach these because I don't need them and where I'm keeping it, I really don't have the space for these added extensions. I'm not gonna use them, but they do come available in the box when you purchase it from Set Power. I also reached out to Set Power. They were very kind and generous to offer me an affiliated link, which you can find in the description below. So if you would use the link and the code, you would be supporting my channel and I would truly appreciate it. This is a short video of me talking about the Set Power this 53 quarts AJ series refrigerator and I truly thank you for watching this video hope you've enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below give the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and until the next time see you on the road <laughs>